Reporter Maria Guzman joins us with today's vote and what it means, how it can play out here at home. Maria. Hey, Katie. I a UT's Knoxville campus is seeing admission growth for students of color. In 2022, the fall, a freshman class included more than 400 Latinos and 230 Asian students. Now that's up from 2021. Now, the, not, now there was an increase with each race except for black students, which dipped from the previous year. Uh, first generation students going to college came through a path that has been extremely, extremely difficult. In higher education, affirmative action is a policy that aims to increase the number of students of color in campus. As centers to expand representation, the policy does not only consider a student's race, but major criteria like test scores, grades, and application. Biggest misnomer and the big lie is that somehow someone's getting a seat or an opportunity that their son, their daughter, that their loved one did not get. That's not what affirmative action is. The new decision means any school using race as an admission factor will have to stop immediately. This mainly affects schools with high selective admissions, where less than 50% of applicants get in. But it does not go as far as meaning that every institution now should, should, should eliminate all of their effort, it's not that opinion. The opinion does not go that far. In a statement, the University of Tennessee says this potentially represents a change in the law relating to the college admissions process. The school will be diving into the details of the ruling to determine whether it will impact the campus. How universities respond to this um, ruling and whether they actually read what the words say Now, we did receive a statement from the Tennessee Attorney General's office, and part of the statement says they're reviewing the decision and will work with schools to comply with the ruling. Katie. Maria, thank you.